you not want to talk about your brother? Huh, go ahead. What do you got for me? You said you have weird taste in music. I do? Well, he's an old soul. He likes uh, the old Frank Sinatra, and he likes all the oldies. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit into that, but not as much as he is. So. Is there sort of a yin and yang between you guys? I mean, it's kind of different life stage. You're a little younger and hipper, or edgier. Yeah, I mean, I guess in our, in our own sense, we're both a, a little goofy at times. I think uh, we're, we're the same in that. But, um, you know, he's been married for over 10 years, and I'm newly wed for about a couple years now, and he's got four kids, and I'm uh, getting there. Not yet. But uh, what's that? Go ahead. I was going to say, how is it having your – older brother on the offensive line with you there it's awesome i mean i mean the brother aspect is cool and i i know that was the biggest thing and um i uh, you know you only get to play this game once in your life so you know i thought i'd make the best of it and uh you know might as well play with my older brother i, I missed him um you know when i was in high school he, he had just gotten to sc and then when i got to sc he had just left so yeah, uh, it's kind of a situation you talk about and joke about, but never actually think you know that would happen. It's it's already a rare opportunity to to get in the NFL and have success in the NFL, and uh, let alone play with your sibling in the NFL. But um, yeah, you know, not only that aspect, but just the kind of player he is. Um, you know, five-time Pro Bowler. Uh, he's he's had a great career, and um, you know, I've I've always taken advice from him even when I wasn't on the team, and you know now kind of being more hands-on and being on the team, I've, I've learned a great deal from him. What's he like, though, when he tries to give you advice on the field? Uh, he, he always jokes. He's coming up to me, and uh, he's like, all right, this isn't Big Brother giving you some advice. This is your teammate. And, you know, he'll kind of coach me up. So, uh, you know, I, I take everything um, that he says real seriously. I know sometimes he'll try to bust my chops a little bit and uh, – play the older brother card, but uh, for the most part, he's been a great teammate. And he's, he's helped me out tremendously. Ron said earlier that you were working a lot one-on-one with Don um, He's kind of out of the spotlight a little bit, so we don't know a whole lot about him, but can you share a little bit what it's like to work with him and what specifically you guys are working on in terms of technique? I mean, it's it's been great uh, as far as John Matsko goes. Um, you know, he's he's the first guy I've played for that kind of demands excellence from his offensive line room, and um, the way those guys work in there, we each push each other um, harder each practice and during practice to kind of outwork the other. And um, you know, we're a, we're a pretty physical group in my opinion. Uh, as far as Matsko goes, in, in terms of him being hands-on and, and our technique and our attention to detail and our preparation um, for the games, I mean, it, it's uh, second to none. He's uh, he's taught me a lot just from my small time being here so far and I, I'm still going to learn a great deal from him but uh, just as far as him like I said being hands on and in terms of the little things and um, constantly getting those things corrected in practice has uh, made me a better player. Were there things that you were surprised you noticed? What's that? Was there anything you were surprised that you noticed? Uh, you know, as me watching film over the years, there, I knew there were certain things I, I needed to work on. But um, you know, his his take on those things and the way you know we had to attack him, attack him from a technical standpoint and things I needed to do in terms of technique wise and drill wise to fix those things, um, you know, have been awesome. And he's helped me a lot, even in this camp. Did you, uh, when you were house hunting and all, like, did you want to be close to Ryan? Did you want a certain distance? <laughs> um, you know, I love the houses out here. I think uh, Charlotte's one of my uh, more favorite cities uh, in terms of the architecture and, and, and those old school brick buildings and stuff. It's a, it's a beautiful city. Um, and, you know, as far as living close to my brother, I don't think that was that was in the question. Um, I, it didn't really matter if I was close or far from him. Uh, it's just hard to find a, a good house with a lot of land um, that that isn't kind of like a through traffic street. And that, that was the biggest thing. There was these nice neighborhoods. And, I guess the way people explained it is uh, the city's grown so fast that people end up finding these little cut through lanes for all these nice neighborhoods and stuff. So I was trying to avoid those those neighborhoods. Ryan has all these interests off the field with the book stuff and the produ movie producing and all that. Do you share a lot of that same interest? Or are you more of all football and he's kind of more the guy that... No, I, I, I mean, I, I got some entrepreneurship. Um, I, I own some pizza restaurants, um, Pyology Pizza, and then uh, some other ice cream sandwich uh, dessert restaurants that, that we're opening up. And um, so I, I, I got my hands in some other stuff off the field. But uh, as far as the more artsy, artistic stuff in, in terms of what Ryan does, I think we're a little different in that aspect. How about the humidity here? Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely different. Um, 
Yeah, you know, I've been told by everyone too. I've I've lucked out this camp. It hasn't. This is probably the best camp, Ryan said, in terms of weather that that it's ever been. So uh, I haven't experienced the true heat of Spartanburg yet. Did what you and Ryan? Of Ryan's book, the rookie book. It's a good book. Uh, you know, there's a lot of funny stories in there. Um, I never got a free one, um, so I, I had to pay for it. So obviously, he didn't have any spare books. So that's a good thing, I guess. But um, you know, it just shows. Um, his creativeness to, to make something like that and um, obviously get all these other NFL athletes involved to uh, give their point of view and stuff like that coming in the NFL and learning from people. So um, it, it's a great book. Did you offer any input or he wouldn't give you a chapter? Uh, yeah, he never came to me. So, I mean, it, his next book, maybe hopefully he, uh, he can hit me up for that. So Matt, you go to the Pro Bowl your rookie year and you have the hip injury you're dealing with. How much of you wants to come here? Kind of prove people that can still play at a high level. Yeah, I mean, um, no, it's it's not only to people; it's, it's to myself. I know, um, you know, when I'm healthy and uh, you know everything's working out great in, in that aspect, that uh, I can be a great player. And uh, you know, there's there was a lot of things I had to play through that you know I finally decided that I had to get fixed. And um, you know, it's it's been awesome. You know, everything's feeling great, and um, you know, I feel like I'm finally getting my quickness and my wittiness about me back. And uh, you know, it's actually fun to go out there on the field and uh, play with no pain. So, do you feel like you're finally sort of getting acclimated? I know you know the humidity was an adjustment. Yep. The, the slight growing strain kept you off the field. So, do you start now sort of feeling like you're really starting to get acclimated with your new team and with this offense and the offensive line? Yeah, I mean that that's um, that offensive line room is is as good as it gets. I mean the guys in there are great. Um, like I said, they have great work ethic, which pushes everyone else to work hard. Um, so as far as the way we work in practice, I'm not worried about the games being harder. And uh, you know that's what it comes down to is you, you know you work hard, you get your business done in practice, and you know the game should be easy. Matt, will you, uh, at the risk of beating this dead horse a little more, what, what do you think you'll carpool into the stadium with Ryan? Uh, we'll see. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get some kind of tradition going. I know he said uh, the guys had like their same route that they took with uh, him, Remmers, and Olson, and uh, Luke, and they'd have the same conversation or something. I don't know, something weird. But uh, you know, uh, maybe we'll get some uh, little tradition going. So, has any of this? I know it's only a couple months into it, but has there been any of it that's sort of been a negative, just back under the? <laughs> you know, big brother watch? No, not at all. I mean, um, it's been fun. Um, you know, as far as my brother and I, uh, we've always been close, but, you know, even when I was in college and he was in the NFL, you know, football seasons are always at the same time. So I never got to do any family um, holidays with, with the family when everyone would come up to Carolina. And uh, we've never, he's always been in California and I'd stay in Minnesota for, for the off season. So this is the most time in a long time that we've actually got to, come closer and uh, bond a little more. So, uh, it, I mean, it's been great. It hasn't been negative at all. Anything else? Do you think you'll ever get tired of all these brother questions? <laughs> <laughs> now nah, everyone gets it. It'll be over with next year. No one will even care. So. <laughs>